Hey everyone, today we are going to be unboxing Mirmulnir, the dragon for Elder Scrolls Call to Arms from Modiphius, right after this. Hey everybody, Sam here from the Tabletop Hub, and today, like I said, we're going to be unboxing the dragon that was released very recently for Elder Scrolls Call to Arms by Modiphius. I just want to say a massive thank you to Gavin and the folks over at Modiphius for sending the dragon over to me to have a look and showcase for you all here on the channel. So without further ado, let's jump into it. One of the things I want to say is obviously when you guys receive yours, it will be packaged much more neatly than mine. Uh, I, I got excited and I, I wanted to poke through it before I recorded this, uh, but it'll all be much more nicely packaged. What I want to do in this video is kind of just show you all of the components and all of the bits that actually make up the dragon uh, and then equally give you a little tip on kind of getting prepping uh, the model itself for assembly and painting because there's a couple of little bits I think is important for you all to know. Uh, so this right here is the base. Oh, sorry. Let's actually remove that. That right there is the base. So you can see already, like just for a sense of scale, like that's the palm of my hand. I'm an adult man. Um, <laughs> and like the, the, the base itself is, is like the same size as my palm. Really great detail on this. You've got the, the mammoth skull, some bones around there, uh, and equally some little bits of, of skull and skeleton. Uh, and then we've got the smooth indents here for the feet. What you will notice on mine, uh, and this is why I want to chat to you guys about this later on in the video, there is a big chunk of plastic uh, kind of comes out here from where the um, mold was created. I think that's the proper terminology. And now these are resin. Uh, and what I did was I just got a pair of my cutters. Actually, here's the cutters right here. I got this right here and just started snip, snip, snipping away, uh, trimming off as much as I could and cutting off sections. The problem with doing it in that way, uh, in my opinion, is that obviously the resin is still quite brittle. Uh, and I, I don't know if you can see it well on the camera there. That It's still, it's quite a thick chunk. So whenever we're getting close to the base here, when we start, you know, putting pressure on that to try and cut it away, in my head, I'm not a physicist or a scientist, so this is just my uneducated opinion, but because that's so thick and we're putting such, you know, condensed pressure on it, uh, it's more likely to create these um, little chips uh, and indents. Um, now, I do have a, a burring tool, so I could just scrape away at that, which is more than more than doable but for me what i'd actually recommend is kind of dipping this section into some hot water making this um offshoot much softer and then cutting away or, or kind of trying to trim it off from that point but that's the base for you oh my this thing <laughs> i i i'm gonna say it a lot during this video but this thing is massive so like here you can see uh, there's a great example actually so here you can see just how thick this offshoot is and please don't break but just to kind of give you an example i'm putting my own model at risk here to give you an example of of what this is like just cutting away at it you know so there, there's an element of pressure that i'm having to apply to that and as we get closer and closer uh to the actual base of the model that the higher the risk for me that 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 kind of entails so i would say dip this section in water, soften this area, and then either cut away at it, you know, bit by bit there, or, you know, try and wiggle it a little bit, just try and loosen it uh, from the main bulk of the model. Um, but there's brilliant detail on this. Uh, so this is obviously the main torso. We've got little um, extra bits of resin fluff, as I would call them, uh, which you would just kind of brush away off. Um, but genuinely really impressed with the the detail on that um it just looks great uh, and then we have the teal tip here as well so that is the the head assembled comes in two pieces again looks really great the main thing from so basically i wanted to bring you all this kind of like semi unboxing video before <laughs> i'm trying to delay the inevitable of of painting this thing because as you can see, like I was intimidated by the sentry bot from Fallout Wasteland Warfare because I wanted to do that well. 
Um, so you can imagine how I feel looking at this thing. So here we have the wings. Um, and they are chunky boys. Let's see. Yeah. So really great. To, to be honest, the one one thing that I am like excited about working on these is just the size of the canvas really that we have to work on. Uh, I mean, there's there's brilliant detail on this. They're they're lovely large wings, which kind of gives me the opportunity to try and do some really nice gradient work on this. Um, but again, you know, you see the again that, that's where we want to really make sure that we're taking care when removing bits like this so that we don't damage the model itself. Um, but that's that's kind of all the parts um, that will make up your dragon. Of course, you're not going to get any any rules or anything with, with the box on this. The rules are, I think, still in development. I think they're in late stage development. Uh, I believe they are getting close to being finished there. Uh, and then they'll be sent out to anyone who, who owns the dragon itself. But I just wanted to put this together, one, to delay the inevitable intimidating paint job I'm going to have to do on this, um, and also kind of let you guys see, just give a sense of scale. I think it's it's tricky sometimes whenever you see the finished photos of this model, and it all looks kind of cool, but it's still somewhat tricky getting a sense of how big it is and, and what the parts will look like. Um, one thing I would say is, looking at it, it's a big miniature, but like there's not a lot of bits, there's not a lot of parts um, that you need to to put together. It looks relatively straightforward uh, in that, you know, there's there's no instruction booklet on how to assemble this, but looking at it, it all seems quite straightforward in, in how I could put this together. So folks, that is Mjolnir, the dragon for Elder Scrolls Call to Arms. I am now tasked with the seemingly impossible task of trying to get this thing painted and ready for the tabletop so i'm slightly nervous about it but we'll see how it all goes if you want to get the dragon yourself use code tabletop hub over on the modifius store to get 10 percent off uh, and a little portion of that goes to me here on the channel to help support the work and the videos that i create but folks i hope you've enjoyed this video hope you've enjoyed a look at the dragon and i'll see you all next time